Time to check in with Burlington's Mayor, Marianne Mead Ward, to see how things are going in Burlington. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Good morning. Good snowy uh, morning. <laughs> yeah, how's the snow clearing operations going in Burlington right now? Very well, and the snow on the trees is lovely, so we're yeah. all enjoying a bit of beauty this morning. Yes, I saw you tweeted some beautiful winter wonderland pictures. Hey, we were just, <laughs> uh, before the break, um, reporting on the outcome of the Derek Chauvin trial in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Something close mm -hmm. to home to you. I didn't realize that uh, you, uh, your mom was from there and you actually went to school in Minneapolis. I did. After high school, I spent a year uh, studying in Minneapolis and still have friends that are there. My mom is still back in that area. My brother and his wife and family are in that area. So it, it does cl uh, touch me very deeply. And I'm, you know, like many people, uh, relieved and hopeful because of the guilty verdict. It's, it's a small step forward to justice and ending racism and and not just in the u.s of course we have it here and we have our own experience in burlington of racism so uh, doing everything we can to end it is on all of our plates yeah that was something uh, echoed by the prime minister as well uh, all right let's talk about uh, of course the um, last week and i think you were one of the first out of the gate expressing grave concerns about the police mm -hmm. powers that were invoked and uh, which were quickly reversed thankfully but uh, there was an emergency uh, council meeting in burlington tell us about the outcome of that so we wanted to discuss, you know, we had very little warning that the restrictions were coming. We had to implement them within hours. You know, the press conference was at four. Uh, the, the restrictions went into effect at midnight. So I wanted council to be fully up to speed with whatever we knew at that time. And of course, I can't talk to my council without calling a special council meeting. So I wanted to make sure that they uh, understood what was happening because they have a leadership role with their communities to, uh, you know, explain and answer questions. But we also wanted to look at, you know, should we be closing parking lots or washrooms to avoid crowding to do our part with, uh, with the restrictions? And the overwhelming uh, sentiment was no. We are not going to do that, that uh, we have a physical distancing bylaw already that asks people to stay apart from anyone they don't live with, mask up outside if that's a challenge, and enjoy enjoy our parks safely with members of your own household. So, so we, um, we referred that decision forward to yesterday's meeting, and, and uh, any suggestion of closing parking lots was withdrawn. Okay, so it's pretty much status quo with the uh, current restrictions. That's um, right. There's um, a lot of outbreaks. We've been talking about outbreaks in Hamilton, but also uh, an outbreak of the Fortinos in Burlington on Appleby, among a number in Halton. Now in Peel, Peel ordered uh, businesses, non-essential non businesses, with at least five COVID-positive cases uh, to shut down for 14 days. Is this a model that Halton might look at? Well, we have a regional council meeting uh, in about half an hour, so I'm sure mm. that will be a topic of discussion with our medical officer of health. I wholeheartedly support those measures. I think we need a very targeted, instead of blanket closures, we need targeted closures that get at the source of spread. We need folks, businesses and others to know how to keep themselves safe when they are out and about. That That is what we need. And the science table uh, from the, the COVID-19 provincial science table has also recommended that uh, those measures be targeted. And in fact, they have said, you know, outdoor activity, go for it uh, yeah, with members yeah. of your household. So Absolutely. That's what our expert, Dr. Zane Chagley, is saying the same thing. Exactly. And he said restricting that is just driving people indoors. It, it really is. And so the measures have to be backed by science and targeted to the source of spread. And that's the only way we're going to get out of this. We will not enforce our way out of this pandemic. No. Um, I want to ask you about the uh, federal budget Monday. What did you like? What did you not like? And uh, how things uh, might apply to Burlington? A lot of good things in that budget for us. Uh, I know childcare is top of mind for folks, especially when uh, kids are home and parents are home. Uh, there's additional money for infrastructure. There's money for the home retrofit uh, to tackle greenhouse gas emissions at home. There are many uh, elements of this budget that we are grateful for and have actively lobbied for with other mayors and cities across the country. Okay. Oh, we ran out of time as usual, but let's do it again next week. Thanks for your weekly updates. Burlington Mayor Marianne Meadward. See you next week, Bob.